Hi, everyone. Welcome to Fridays with Friends. My name is Shana Finkelstein. I'm a staff attorney at Coast to Coast Legal Aid of South Florida. I work in the Victims of Crimes Unit, where I represent victims of domestic violence for petitioning for injunctions against for protection against domestic violence, in addition to paternities and divorces and holistic representation in any way that I can, whether that be representing myself or referring to other people within my organization. Or if we're not able to help within Coast to Coast Legal Aid of South Florida, we have other members of our community who are always there to help us and fill in the gaps so that all of the members of our community are not underserved or underrepresented. And so one of those representatives from one of those services and organizations is here with us today. We are very lucky to have with us here today, Hillary Josephs from Good, uh, Goodman JFS or Ju Family Services, and she is their community outreach liaison. And so she'll be here with us today to explain to us the, all the different services that are still available at JFS during COVID and during not times of COVID so that we all know where we can seek the help if coast to coast isn't there to help then we sometimes we know that we can go to JFS who can help us to represent that client. So I'm going to hand it over to Hillary now so she can take it away and let you guys know about the great services that they're out there offering. Thanks, Shana. Good morning, everyone. My name is Hillary Josephs. I'm the, good, I'm the community outreach liaison with Goodman Jewish Family Services, as Shana mentioned. I've been with the agency about a year and a half. And before that, I was in the legal community as a marketing and community outreach liaison uh, prior to this. So Goodman Jewish Family Services is a 58 year old social services agency, which makes us an essential service during the COVID situation and essential services all year round with or without viruses interfering with life. And so here we are on Zoom. Uh, Jewish Family Services started in 1962, actually is a mental health organization. We do still have Behavioral Health Associates of Broward the Counseling Centers of JFS provides behavioral health counseling uh, for the community with offices in Davie and Coral Springs. We are the boots on the ground in the, after the Parkland situation, and uh, we have uh, the opportunity to associate with Parkland Cares and in Eagles Haven, supporting that community directly as soon as the tragedy happened. We also uh, provide services there for anxiety, family issues, stress, but we specialize in trauma and PTSD. Uh, we offer uh, insurance and also a sliding scale. So anyone who is uh, feeling the isolation, uh, the confusion, the so issues with social justice going on today, COVID, uh, and just everyday life, uh, Behavioral Health Associates of Broward is here to support you. I always like to say that Jewish Family Services is kind of like the Levy's Rye Bread commercial. You don't have to be Jewish to like JFS. We do support the entire community of Broward County. We offer financial aid support, a kosher food pantry, which is the largest in the Southeast United States, domestic abuse support. Three out of 10 women are victims of domestic abuse. And that could be physical, emotional, or financial. We support 850 Holocaust survivors that is the largest population in the United States. A couple of years ago, we beat Brooklyn because I think they all moved down here. We have Joshua's Path, which is a resource network for our special needs families and a program called BOOST, capital B-O-O-S-T. That is a training program for adults with special needs, not so much to get a job, but to keep their job social skills, learning how to smile, learning how to shake hands, learning how to look you in the eye so that they have that skill set to make them successful in life. Our financial aid program, as I mentioned, has been overwhelmed during the COVID situation, as well as our food pantry, The Cupboard. Some families are only one paycheck away from a disaster. And we support those families with food, financial aid, gift cards to Publix and other opportunities for them to survive. Many people have lost their job, as you know, and uh, they have gotten the call to us. We get 35,000 phone calls a year, and that has grown substantially during the COVID uh, virus situation. Wow, that's a lot of, that's a lot of services that you offer. Um, there, are there any upcoming events or anything that you can let 
the community know about that they can attend? Yes, we're very happy that our Behavioral Health Associates of Broward is not only doing telecounseling, so you can get telehealth via Zoom or just a simple phone call, but we also offer workshops, one of which is coming up Monday, the 22nd, it's every Monday at 5.30 in the evening, and that's art therapy. And that is for the whole family. Anyone over eight years old is welcome to join us. You bring the crayons, we bring the therapist. And it's really a lot of fun, and it lets out a lot of anxiety just sitting there drawing and following the program. And I felt really good when the therapist told me that my stick figures were okay. Our other uh, th workshops on behavioral health is sports enhancement. And you can see all of that at jfsbroward.org on our website. If you look under events and workshops, you'll see that. Joshua's Path has programs for families with special needs. It could be information about social security, financial and legal planning, and other uh, programs that are relevant to that community. And of course, we have a lot of volunteer opportunities. We have teenagers signing up like crazy this summer for the Dorit and Ben J. Janae cupboard. That's our food pantry that's located close to the Hard Rock Hotel. So I like to tell people if they wanna play, then pay it forward two blocks up, just off 441 in Davie. And our food pantry is currently serving 600 families or about 2000 people who are facing food insecurity. And that number has grown a little bit during the COVID-19 virus as well. About one third of the Holocaust survivors are low income and about a hundred of them are clients of the food pantry. Half of our clients come and pick up and now we have it where you come in, you let us know you're there and we put the food in your trunk so it's contactless pickup. And about half of our clients get delivery, they're homebound. So we do over 350 deliveries every month while well, we have another 250 or so come and pick up at the food pantry itself. So if you wanna help people, you're definitely uh, welcome to volunteer. If you look at jfsbroward.org slash volunteer, you'll see our opportunities to join us. That sounds, that sounds amazing. I love that it's located right by the casino in order to emphasize to people, if you've got the money to gamble, I think you've got the money to help somebody else in your community. I think We're actually a, a four-star <laughs> charity uh, rated charity on Charity Navigator. So talking about if you have the money, if you need our services, we're there. And if you could donate to support our services, we're there. That's great. And now, um, would you mind telling everyone about, I know that there's a particular grant that both Coast to Coast works with JFS on about how we are able to use our, ser our services together in order to get yes. the best impact for our clients. Through a grant through the Jim Moran Foundation, Coast to Coast Legal Aid and Goodman Jewish Family Services have a special program for keeping seniors in their home and fighting against foreclosure. Now I know during the virus foreclosures may have been limited, but that doesn't hold true for the rest of the year when this uh, condition resolves. So uh, Jewish Family Services has a deep intake department, many people there to take your calls, help you sort out which programs are right for you and your eligibility for financial aid, food supplement and other items, as well as the foreclosures that we collaborate with the, with Coast to Coast Legal Aid. So both of our agencies, I guess we try to be one stop shops for people that they come in with one problem and sometimes they don't even realize that they have other problems going on until we start talking to them and realize I think you maybe you could use some help with that as well. And um, I, I, I love that we have you guys to send our clients to when we're not able to do absolutely everything for them. And I love that you are able to send them to us when you feel the same way. Thanks. Uh, well, just like legal aid, we provide services to improve and strengthen the quality of life for all vulnerable populations and for the community at large. So we're both here to serve that community and keep them safe. Right. I think the importance of holistic representation so that someone doesn't have to tell the terrible story to everyone all over town, that they can go to one organization and maybe even just get one person that can help them with everything that's going on, I think is something that is invaluable in this community, especially when someone is fallen on such hard times. It can be defeating to try to go one door, the next door, the next door. So I think that um, any way that we can show them that all you have to do is ask for help as 
a, indispensable to our community. So I'm just really We're glad very that we appreciative have you. of community partners like you. And the only what I'm here to, I guess, update you guys on is just about the court updates, what's going on right now for victims of domestic violence. Um, I'm going to share my screen really fast just so I can show you guys, um, you know, what the updates are. So while the clerk's of court's office were originally set to reopen on June 1st, they didn't. Um, so now we're, they're now going to be closed through July 31st. But victims can still go to the courthouse at the, both the main and the west locations. But the hours are different, so you should confirm before you go to make sure that those hours are available. Um, now the hearings are still being conducted via Zoom. And now if you are going to petition for an injunction, you will have to wear a face mask and you must say that you are there to file a restraining order. All right. And now you can go to BrowardClerk.org and 17thflcourts.org for updates. Um, the update is that the no courtrooms are open until further notice and that the clerk of court update is that it'll be extended. So the only exceptions are, I'm going to show the other update. All right. Um, so these are the things that are open to the public, the clerk of court offices, the payment of traffic tickets, paperwork drop off, marriage licenses by appointment, um, in certain cases for first appearance, but most of the courtrooms are closed. Um, additionally, you know, they did also release this press release, which again, emphasizes that if you do come and for these services, which are open to the public, you still must wear a face covering and only children under the age of two are exempt from this. Um, you still have to follow the six feet apart requirement, And um, again, you can file for the petitions at the main location, which you can see here and the West location, but the North and South are currently not available for that. Um, and that's really the only updates that I can give you. Again, they, you can still petition for injunctions. If you receive an injunction, um, please apply for our services to see if we're able to represent you for your hearing, or if we're at least able to provide you with advice and counsel about how to best represent yourself. Um, we know that these are trying times and that sometimes that COVID has possibly led to higher incidents of domestic violence or higher tensions in the home. And that it's very important that everybody knows that these services are still available and that they shouldn't believe that, oh, the courthouse is closed, so I can't go and seek help. But there, you are still there for you. We will still be able to protect you. And just because we are in times of COVID does not mean that you're not entitled to that protection. So please, um, again, our, our door is always open. We are still offering all kinds of services, not just uh, domestic violence services, but that is what I personally do. So that's what I'm updating you guys on. But we still offer all of the services that we typically offer. It's just we're working remotely, so we're not having in um, we're not having it open to the public. But we can still make appointments, apply, and give you the best representation possible. And I believe that's all that I have. I don't know if Hillary, if you have anything else you'd want to show um, everybody or tell anybody about. No, I think we've covered all of our services. I just want to mention we also have a clothing pantry, um, and especially in your department, there's some women that leave home with nothing but a kid on their back. So we do offer um, the clothing pantry is called the Rack Pack, Random Acts of Kindness. The Rack Pack offers clothing to uh, the community uh, free of charge. Uh, those who are eligible, many of our covered clients and domestic abuse clients do take advantage of that. So that's another service that we offer. If you have any questions, we do a lot of stuff, so don't hesitate to call us. If you can support our services, visit jfsbroward.org. If you need our services, visit jfsbroward.org. And thanks for your time today, Shana. Yes, and just as she said, if we can't help you, we're gonna try to find someone who can. And that's the reason why our community services, why we work together to make sure that whatever the problem is, that we hopefully we can find someone that can help them. So thank you everyone for tuning in to Fridays with Friends. Um, we hope to see you next week and the Friday after that for our next Fridays with Friends. And please follow our Facebook page, Coast to Coast Legal Aid of South Florida in order to get updates and other helpful videos and training opportunities and just to see what's going on with our office. Um, again, Hillary, thank you so much. We couldn't do it without JFS. And so we really appreciate you being here today so that the community can know just how helpful you really are to us and everyone out there. Our pleasure.